Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Case Machine Sesto case for the iPhone 5. This case comes in four different colors. There's silver, white, black, and blue, and each sells for $99.99. So it comes in this presentation box, which inside you'll find a certificate of authenticity, a little instruction uh, piece of paper or card that teaches you or talks about how to take the case off. There's a special tool that they want you to use to do that. And here is that tool right here. It looks like a guitar pick. I'll show you how that works in a second. And then the case itself along with a power button. So let me get all three things out of here. The case is composed of three different sections. It's kind of stuck inside here. There we go. And the back part is made up of polycarbonate with a carbon fiber insert. The top piece is made of aluminum and then you have this rubberized power button. So you do have to place the power button inside the case before you install it onto your phone. It only goes in one way, so just line it up and make sure it all fits in before you proceed with the installation. So once you get it in place, just kind of lay that part down because you're going to start with the back part. The back piece does have a felt liner inside, so it's going to protect the back of your iPhone 5. Just lay your iPhone inside like so and take the aluminum frame flip it on over the right way, making um, note that the power button obviously doesn't fall out. Line this thing up and then it has four little clips. You can see them like right there um, and then just click them in place. Now, I should point out that I am using a tempered glass screen shield, which does not really fit perfect with this case. Um, it does close, but you'll notice that there is a little bit of a gap right there. And that's because I'm using a tempered glass shield. Um, it will fit better without one. So if you're someone that, you know, absolutely has to have a tempered glass screen shield on their phone, this probably isn't the case for you. Um, otherwise, it's going to fit better without it. Again, you can still use it with one. You'll just have a little bit of a space right there. So I've got the case fully uh, installed. Um, the first thing you're going to notice is the paint job on the back is gorgeous. Um, almost metallic looking. Uh, they use several different coats of paint and several different types, even colors, to form this like blue color. It look, looks amazing, guys. And then the small carbon fiber insert. They kept it small just to make sure there were no issues with reception or anything like that, which there are not. Then you have this really unique cutout for the camera, LED, and flash. Tire bottom of this case is exposed, so it's easy to access the uh, microphone, the speaker, the headset jack, and the lightning port. There's also one large cutout there on the side for the volume up and down and the mute switch. You can see again there's a little space right there because it's just not clicking all the way in because of that tempered glass shield. But it is secure. I couldn't get this off and that's why I mentioned that even if you are a fan of tempered glass you can still use this case. It will um, just have a little gap there. On the top there is the power button. Now this is meant to uh, mirror I guess. I'm not a car aficionado but I'm told that this is meant to mirror the headlamp of the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, which is kind of where this case takes its design elements from. You can see that it's rubberized, um, it gives you great feedback when you press it, it's nice and cushy. And then on the front, you do get lay on the table with this because this aluminum bezel does protect the uh, screen of your phone. Uh, the case feels good, it's lightweight, it's not real heavy as I mentioned. Um, no impact on reception for me when using this case. It's really slick looking. Right now it's available uh, for pre-order from Case Machine for $99.99. I know kind of Case Machine has gotten a little bit of a bad rep lately. Um, I'm not here to you know defend one practice or the other. I want to let you know though, they're a small company, they make their cases by hand in the US. Um, so I kind of feel like they deserve a little bit of a break if um, they've done anything wrong as it relates to like customer service or things like that. Kind of give them um, some slack. They're not a huge company with a million employees. They're doing the right thing, making really good quality cases in the United States. Um, and I, you know, I think you know they're kind of worth the wait and worth whatever aggravation you might have to put up to get your hands on one of these cases. So um, that's just my little spiel on case machine. So um, to get this case off, you do use this special tool that they give you. Again, it looks like a little guitar pick. Um, and you just stick the pointy end in the slot here and move it along until the uh, clips release like that. And you do the same thing on the other side. And this is just to prevent any sort of um, breaking of the little clips here on the sides of the case. You would want, wouldn't want to do that because it would essentially render the case useless. 
here and here. So that's how you get it off. So that's been my brief look at the uh, Case Machine Sesto Elemento uh, case for the iPhone 5. You can check it out via the Case Machine website. Again, it's available for pre-order right now in four different colors. If you have any questions about it, as always, feel free to uh, drop me a line down below. Please do me a favor and hit the annotation link to read my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, have a great day.